Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition! <laughs> I noticed, uh, we have squad, we can level up, okay here we go, here we go. They've changed the way we do it a bit. I gotta unlock shotguns. Why? Oh wait, first, as, as always, oh no 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 no, that's not what I wanted to do. The thing is, okay this sucks. <laughs> Dang it. I messed up. I already messed up. No. I, the first thing first is you're supposed to put points into charm. Uh, but here we are. Not putting points into charm. <laughs> the controller is like a bit like sensitive. Like sometimes it goes down for like double. Or like it goes down faster than you think it will. Oh boy. Well, it looks like I'm just gonna have a point in Intimidate. I'm really sad about it, but here we are. <laughs> and we need to unlock shotguns, because that's the one I prefer to use. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna cry about it now, it's fine. Let's go <laughs> do talk to Chuckwaz. Wow. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Oh my god. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the inferno. Their faces are so nice. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even The lighting. Fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. Killing me. <laughs> on a mission before, not one with a <laughs> Poor Jenkins. Oh, the lighting is so stunning, like, holy cow. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Yep. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the what Spectre? <laughs> Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. We do think quite highly hey, of Commander, ourselves. You'd make a good hey, spectre. wow! You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. <laughs> The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Oh my gosh, I'm just setting him up for failure. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a spectrum. Oh my gosh. Here. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Oh, uh, please, you. please stop. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career. Oh, foreshadowing. Don't do something stupid to me. Foreshadowing. Myself. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw Yo this Yo, The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Bye-bye. Hang on. I, can I? Oh, I probably... I don't think I can look at the thing yet. Yep. Only the commanding officer. That's right. That's right. I can't open it up yet. Oh my goodness. 
even Nile, like the Turians, I always felt like, emoted pretty well, but like seeing him close up in the cutscene was pretty crazy. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. I do still, I feel like, like even like around his eyes, like changes. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your Uh, get to it, buddy. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it? How safe is it, really? The skin textures are crazy. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? For what? <laughs> I think it's about time to told the Anderson! This mission is far more than a simple shakedown. Anderson! I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. Okay, his eyes look a little bit di like his eyes are like look almost kind of separate from his face in a in an odd way. I don't know if that's just me. Like I feel like they aren't like rendering like the certain wrinkles around his eyes. Maybe yeah, I don't know. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. Information strictly on the need to know basis. I think his wrinkles aren't showing up. Research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Okay. Prothean, whoa! I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the His beacon back to the Citadel. His eyes are, I mean, they're gorgeous just on their own. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in council space. Like seeing like the veins in his eyes, like I feel like mine don't do that as much. And like the reflections. It's, whoa, why did we tell the council? Because it's the law. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent. Oh, well, we do that. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the council. Plus, we need their scientific. <laughs> they know more about Plus, we actually do need their help. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here. It's Shepard. also me. Nihilus wants to see you. Me. He's here to evaluate. What's going on? <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the system. I'm so policy. beautiful. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks. Shows how far I really think it should be the other way around. You held off an enemy assault during the blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. Oh, thank you. That's why I put your name forward. You did. Nihilus has, uh, he's, he's got a broad mind, you know. Um, I think, what was I thinking? Oh, like, it seems kind of odd that they would put a specter in of a species first and then consider them maybe later as, like, an as like a prospect for a, um, like, a, a council seat. Um, also, though, a specter seems like a good way to, like, you know, get in, like, you know, like, I don't know. I try, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, Volus, no. Elcourt, no. <laughs> um, but other species that, um... Like the drow, you know, um, that don't, that, that maybe wouldn't get council seats because they, I don't know, can't offer the things that the council wants necessarily, but they have specific skills that can be useful, you know? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of And the some of us want to see what you have to offer to the rest make of babies the with you. <laughs> and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Look at that. Broad-minded nihilist not hating me just because of my species. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Meritocracy, really. We're counting on Like a true I meritocracy. I skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several. Ah, uh, what could have been? You'll be in charge of the ground team. 
Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. The... What do you know about yeah, the Carthians? Okay. Just what they told us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of people. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Well. Their citadel is the very heart well. of our society. <laughs> and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I mean, they definitely utilize the technology that they got, but we know, we all, well, so many of us know. Oh, by the way, this is a spoilers. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not being sneaky about any of this. I've played this game several times, except Mass Effect 3, which I've only played once because I cried and I laughed and I just couldn't handle it, despite it being maybe my favorite Mass Effect game. I don't know. Anyway, it was too emotionally fraught for me to play multiple times. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farm, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond mm -hmm. Earth. It symbolizes our agriculture. humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Truly, truly, in many in many ways, but not the ways he thinks. <laughs> Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. A small data what cache, and then in, by the time Mass Effect... It's a weapons archive. Oh, well... We can't let it fall into the wrong By the time Mass Effect 3 rolls around, it's like, it's an entire, like, freaking archive. <laughs> like who? The Attica Traverse isn't the most stable sector of city. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in it. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus. Look at all these questions I get to ask. The Attica Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species Ooh. of the Terminus might be willing to start a He's war. He's so tall. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh boy, here we go. What's oh boy, here we go. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Hey, it's Ashley. Get down. They couldn't have changed her armor color. I know I'm glad they didn't in some ways, but still. <laughs> it's just dumb. She's not even a medic. Under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get back. They came out of nowhere. We need to <laughs> Literally looks like like the hand of God, you know, except maybe the hand of the devil. I don't know. That's what I thought when I first saw it. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the thirty-eight point five. That that freaking jaw wiggle. Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more company. I don't know. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the. Beacon. I don't know what exactly you call it. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. But his jaw flaps did like that twitch, and it's like, oh boy. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Captain. We're going in. Like that makes it like that's like the emo part of the emoting of like an alien face, right? We're like, it's just a very small thing that we can't Engaging do, but that they can. And like expresses something similar to what we can express with other. Somebody was doing some serious digging. Other here, facial expressions. Holy cow! Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for it's the. It's so side. beautiful. What about survivors? Photo Captain? mode. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top photo priority. Mode. Approaching photo mode. Point one. I'm ready for photo mode. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my. Lone own. wolf boy. That's what happened, and then you get you get what's coming to you. Nihilus will scout out ahead. 
He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! The lighting... Look at that foliage! Approaching drop point two. Okay, you wanna know who my true love in this whole game is? It's the Normandy. Seeing her in high def is just... Oh my gosh, you guys, it's... Your perimeter secure, Commander. This whole game... I've just... I've played this part so many times and oh my gosh... Okay, what, photo mode? This place got Oh, uh, how do I... Oh, I can't... Oh, no, uh. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well, I forgot about that. Okay, I forget about that. Oh, okay, I have to go in there and do photo mode. Oh my gosh. Get this out of here. I don't want it. Okay, okay. Um, I don't actually know how to go down. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Um, okay, how do I... Okay, X. I hope that took. It didn't say it did. Oh my gosh, and my helmet's still glowing. This is amazing. I'm so excited for photo mode in this game. Like, I know it's not like the super fanciest game. Oh my gosh, oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh, here, here I go. No, eh, okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. This is I will I will edit out many of my photo mode things. But yes, this is this is the man I I fall in love with in uh in this game. But don't worry, it's staying for the rest of bittersweet forever after that. Um I just like what do we what do we got here? Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. For dramatic effect, I like it. Pre vocal link. Oh my goodness gracious. What was it at 35? 30? Oh boy. I don't even know. I think it was 35. Oh no. This one. I don't even the vignette, okay. High player, high party, high enemy. Oh my gosh. So it's not like it's not like in Ghost of Tsushima where you can like add like spec like um, particle effects, but I will I will play with this for sure. Uh, okay. Put your weapon away. Put it away. Nope. They've changed the the interface a little bit. Oh geez. Nope. Put away. Ooh. Okay. You used to be able to just, like, reload. Oh, God. Or, like, put away your weapon by, uh, by pressing the same button, but apparently not. I'm trying to have good posture. I'm trying to not be a bad gamer. Anyway, I can't believe I'm playing on Insanity. This is gonna, this is gonna kick my butt. I don't know. I think I finished an Insanity run. Isn't there... Gas bags. Don't worry, they're hot. There's usually... Look at these things, though. Look at them. Oh my gosh. They're so cool looking. They're supposed to be... Over here. Oh, wait. How do I run? Maybe I can't run yet? I'm supposed to be able to... Oh, no. That was crouching, so that's good to know, I guess. Anyway, here. I've played this game too many times. <laughs> I'm trying to run. Oh, there we go. Oh no, that's the weapon switch. I do I have a sniper rifle? Get, what, what? Why do I have? I guess it doesn't matter. I can have it. I can have it equipped, but it doesn't mean I can do anything with it. Okay, this is fine. I should definitely at least do Caden and me. Um, I think I want to unlock lift as soon as possible. I would take the stuff from Jenkins like some people do, but I'm not. I'm not. 
Well, maybe I will. I don't... I keep thinking I'm playing on my new game, like my save game plus, where I have, like, so much stuff. And, uh, and money and whatnot. And maybe I'll get to that point. But right now, I'm not at that point. How do I... I don't actually know how to unequip his stuff. I only know how to switch things. Okay, then we're not doing it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Was it... I always actually... Not always, but I frequently get lost. I always go to this little... I feel like they changed it though, like kind of like changed the placement of things up a little? Maybe not. That was behind us when we came in. Have they changed it a bit? I feel like they may have changed it a bit. Or I'm just a, an idiot, which is totally valid. Okay, look at the dramatic faces down at the bottom. I think they've changed it a bit. I think they've, they've moved this. All right, let's get ready. If I could only know how to run. Maybe I should put tutorials on. Oh my gosh, freaking. Look at that. Look at the light, the lighting is insane now. Like, it's just. I'm like, hmm. Jesus, get, we're gonna get wrecked. We're gonna get absolutely shredded. I, maybe I should play with a mouse and keyboard. Jeez, this controller isn't great. It's like a giant monstrosity. Jenkins, no! Rip Jenkins. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Oh, he's actually being sad right now. I don't know if he does that. Oh, he, cause he usually has headaches, so that might just be part of his headaches thing. Look at this conveniently placed rocks. Let's see. Is it... Oh, is A run? Oh, A is run. Okay. Do we stick to combat the way- okay, or stick to cover the way we used to? Oh, gosh, the, I'm a control scheme. Also, where's my special abilities? Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. Look at the freaking I'm gonna check grass. It out. I'll try to catch up with you at the Look at the fire. We have to wait till we find water. Then we'll truly know. Oh my gosh, do you see the freaking sun rays? Coming through the, like, the, the dust modes? Oh my gosh, hang on, I have... Yeah, I have throw. Where's, where's, where's my stuff at? Usually it's... On the bottom, now I don't know what to do. I should up the sensitivity on my controller. I know I can do that. Let me see if I can do that. Which might actually just totally ruin me. Oh, wait. Oh, <gasps> jeez. <laughs> uh, this I might have to change, because I do want the Mako to be to, to do the old driving. Okay. Yeah, that might be better. Oh yeah, I have played this game, although we don't actually need any medical supplies right now, but here we are. Come on. It's so weird, I, I remember playing her as a soldier when you had like beefier armor on your shoulders. So when I don't have that, it's weird. Like I still find it weird. I really liked having those big beefy so shoulders. Okay, we gotta get Ashley. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Look at her. This is so shiny. Look at her. I wonder if she'll look more like her Mass Effect 3 iteration. <gasps> no, not this part. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? You run.
The Geth design is so cool. Alright, we're coming. Hang on. I'm coming over there too. How do I... I'm actually really upset. Look, they're not even moving. <laughs> so, what's up? Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Yeah, I am. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. She does look really nice. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried Look at to Caden back in the background. Just, but we walked into an ambush. Just I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Just, just pacing back and forth? That's not very soldierly. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be- Come with us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for pain. All right, now we got a chit-chat. Chit-chat, chit-chat, before the attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Geth! What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programs. Limited. Created by the it was limited. <laughs> They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the quarry. Crazy how that happens. <laughs> well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus veil. Nobody's really crazy how cheap, sense. cheap people who are people or entities that are treated as cheap labor eventually rise up and ask for better working conditions. Weird. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some protein. That is actually how a lot of archaeology is found. Scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Yeah, a lot of archaeology is discovered through like expansion of infrastructure. It's kind of funny. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a spectre anyway. Oh, you'd know. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no turn. I know that some people don't like Caden. And believe me, later on in like Mass Effect 3, I kind of want to kick him in the teeth. But in Mass Effect 1, I have a very big soft spot for Caden. And every time I hear his voice and see his face, I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> Move up. Now that we have acquired space racist Ashley, um, who gets better, she gets better, ooh yeah, um, uh, if you allow her to, anyway, uh, anyway, <laughs> I am gonna call this one here, but thank you all so much for joining me, I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you guys are enjoying your own, like, playthroughs of this, it's been, I mean, I've played it so many times, like, I know everything I see, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember all that, but it's like, it's got this new shine to it, and... It's not, I was never one of those people that's like, I want a Mass Effect remastered or whatever. Like, I would rather have a Dragon Age remastered, honestly, like Origins and 2. But, now that I have it, and, oh, this was actually sold to me by one friend specifically saying, what about 4K Thane? And I was like, I'm sold. That's all it took. Thank you. So... <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Also, if you have any like cool photo mode stuff, like please share. Like you can, I would love to see them on like the Twitter on the Twitter. Uh, like you can send them to me on Twitter or on Discord, which is all in like the. It sounds like I'm like you know selling my socials here essentially, but I really do want to see people's photo mode photos because they're really really cool. So, uh, but everything that that I listed is below in the description. So if you want to, please feel free. Um, anyway, I will see you all in the next one.